Factor and graph p of x equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus x minus 6. In part a, factor algebraically using the integral zero theorem. Rewrite the polynomial. Use the integral zero theorem to determine potential zeros of the polynomial. The potential zeros of the polynomial are the factors of the constant term. The factors of 6 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and plus minus 6. Next, determine which potential zeros are actual zeros of the polynomial. The calculations for this step are shown. A zero of the polynomial is three. Now use synthetic division to factor the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is three, and we have one zero, three. The zero of three corresponds to the factor x minus three. Divide x cubed minus 2x squared, minus x, minus 6, by x minus 3 to find the remaining factors. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x squared plus x plus 2, the divisor is x minus 3, and the remainder is zero. Using p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we can write the polynomial in the factored form, p of x equals x squared plus x plus two times x minus three. In part b, use technology to graph the polynomial. Can the polynomial be factored using just the graph? Use your graphing calculator to obtain the graph. The graph lets us quickly find the x-intercept of 3. While the graph gives us one of the factors, x minus 3, it does not help us find the other factor, x squared plus x plus 2. We would still need to use synthetic division to find the other factor. Therefore, this polynomial is not factorable using just the graph. In part c, can p of x be factored any other way? No. This polynomial can't be factored by grouping, and there are no other algebraic techniques that will factor this.